Spacey Sims, and we are back with more Amnesia Memories. So last time we finished uh, Shin's Path and the Heart World, and I have not had enough time to get over it. Um, it's okay, though. I, you know me, I'm slightly behind in recording, and so eventually I will get caught up. Hui! Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna jump right into Toma. So we gotta go into the Diamond World now, and once we get through this, we get to go to Yukio, <laughs> which is messed up, but, um, you know, whatever. <laughs> anyway. I'm sure a lot of this in the very beginning is going to be the same. Maybe. I don't know. I'll return you to the place you were before. Let's go. I'm in the middle of the road. That's dangerous. Hmm. Huh? What? What? Something's pulling me. Ow! My head! My shoulder! That really hurt! Wait! What is this place? Huh? What? Wait, Spacey! Huh? What? Oh, hi! What's wrong? Are you okay? What happened to you? Spacey! Who is this person? Do you know him? It's okay now. We'll go home together. You must have been lost for a long time. Were you scared? Don't cry. You're okay now. I'll walk home with you. If anything scary happens from now on, just call for me. I'll protect you from anything scary, Spacey. I promise. I don't know, because I'm afraid of this path. To... Ma? <laughs> Toma? <laughs> Toma? Toma! Are you okay? Spacey! Back it up a little bit, bro. Ah! Uh, uh, I'm so dizzy! Was that a memory of yours just now? It's good that a memory came back to you already, but what the heck is going on here? I was returning you to your room, but then out of nowhere, I needed to make an emergency landing. Wait, what? Hey, are you not able to see me? Does that mean I've been pushed out of you pretty far? In other words, that memory just now is very important to you. Hey, can you hear me? Are you okay? Could this guy be the boy who was in that memory? Toma, was it? I guess it would be natural for you to remember the past when you saw his face. Yup, yup! Petrie, you're alive! Yup, yup, yup! It's... Sorry, that's... Just reminded me of The Land Before Time. I watched that a long time ago. My nephew used to watch it like 15 times a day. Anyway, I just, when you said yup, yup, that just made me think of Ducky. When... Anyway, and it, if you've seen it, you know, and if you haven't, oh well. <laughs> and you still know him now, even after all this time. The two of you must really get along. You seem really dazed, and I don't think you have anemia. You probably hit your head. I'm taking you to the hospital, got it? Huh? A hospital? No, wait! The hospital is bad! She's okay! There's nothing wrong! Stop it! I'm okay. You might be okay now, but after what happened, you need to go to the hospital. You must have hit your head pretty hard. Yeah, I know that's the right thing to say, but we can't go there. Mind going in a taxi? Let's go, Spacey. What? Wait, wait a minute. Please, give us time to think up an excuse. Bad ending one. <laughs> Yay! I'm just kidding. Could you imagine? So you said you discovered her collapsed on the roadside. Yes, we had plans to meet for lunch, but when I arrived at our meeting place, she'd fainted. I understand. And she was face up. There's a high possibility that she hit the back of her head. Her name is, uh, it's written right here. Is she a student? She's a first year at Mayuga University. We're on summer break now. Okay, university student. Any pre-existing conditions? None at all. She's usually pretty healthy. It could be anemia. I'll run some basic tests. 
If she hit her head, we'll need to be cautious for some time. Does she live alone? Any family? Her parents live far away for work. She lives alone. I see. Then I suppose we should keep her at the hospital for a while. No! Thanks for answering all this stuff, Toma. They say they'll keep you at the hospital to run some more tests. It's good we're on summer break right now. You didn't have any surface injuries. Do you hurt anywhere? Excuse me, have you finished taking her temperature? Oh, that's the nurse. I was reading that as Orion. Excuse me, have you finished taking her temperature? Oh, yes, here. It's 36.2 degrees Celsius. Okay, 36.2 degrees Celsius. Thank you. She's staying for observation, I see. Do you happen to have an insurance card? I'll bring it over. It's in your purse, isn't it? And I think you left it at home. I'm going to borrow your house key for a bit. That's okay, right, Spacey? I understand. If the patient happens to be in examination when you return, please deliver it to the nurse's station. You're a very kind boyfriend. It might have been better to keep her at your house for observation. Yeah! N nurse? Uh, oh, it's not like that. I'm sorry for the confusion. Huh, I see. Oh, now this is all right. God damn it. Huh, I see. So that means Toma isn't your boyfriend? Then is he just a friend? It seems like you've known him since you were kids. From uh, seen him, uh, it seems like you've known him since you were kids. I'm assuming then in this case that that memory was supposed to be like of childhood voices, um, because otherwise it's like why would Orion just assume that? Anyway, I'll get going now. If you need anything, call me. Hmm, a note. It's my cell phone number. I'll come as soon as you call. There's no need to worry. She could always call for a nurse. She'll be okay. Yes, of course, but still. Anyway, I'll come back tomorrow. Get plenty of rest. Could you please change into this hospital gown? We'll be taking your blood pressure and an x-ray later. Ah, we've suddenly been thrown into a bad situation. But it's true that you hit your head, so it wouldn't hurt to have those tests done. Your head still hurts a little. I just hope the worst that happens is that you get a little bump. Oh, right. I merged with you so I can feel everything you feel. Because of that, even though I don't have a body, I'm able to share in your senses and experience things like pain and cold. But don't worry. If you ever want some private time, I can always cut the connection for a while. And I'm pretty good at reading the mood. Where the fuck is Orion? Come back. I want to be able to see you. Okay, that should conclude the test for today. Please get plenty of rest tonight. Good night. Thanks! If there aren't any issues, I wonder if you'll get out tomorrow. All right, do you want to check your cell phone? You might be able to find out some details about your friends. Let's see, where is it? Huh, where could it be? Did you leave it behind? Can you see it anywhere? It's probably in my purse in my damn apartment. It's not here. It's likely that you left it at home. We'll just look for it when you get back. Wait, huh? Now that I think about it, didn't Toma write his number on a piece of paper and hand it to you earlier? Does that mean that Toma realized you weren't carrying your cell phone with you? Oh, well, we can't help it if you don't have your cell phone. Let's just go to sleep for now. I hope we can leave the hospital tomorrow. Me too. Do, do, do. August 2nd. Two hours later. Good morning! Over here! You can't see me, but I'm right next to you. If this is going to be this game and we're not going to be able to see Orion, it's going to drive me bonkers. I'm just saying. Have you forgotten about me? Nah, I doubt you've forgotten that much, right? But you sure slept a lot. Although I guess the only thing to do in the hospital is sleep. I wonder if they'll do more tests today. I doubt they'll just come and be like, Okay, you can leave now. Hmm, is someone coming? Good morning, are you feeling well? We were planning to do an MRI today, but the machine has been having some problems this morning. We'll have to take the MRI tomorrow. I'm very sorry. I'll come back to take your temperature after breakfast. Just relax and rest for today. No way! Our situation is just getting worse and worse. With this total lack of stimulation, your mind will just keep getting duller. Well, I guess it would be good if you left the hospital without taking, 
guess it wouldn't be good if you left the hospital without taking those tests and there ended up being some major problem. Huh. You fell asleep again? There really is nothing to do here. Hmm, someone's here. Is it okay to be up, Spacey? Oh, it's Toma! I brought your insurance card by yesterday, but you were sleeping, so I left it with the nurse. You don't look as pale today. Seeing as how your head isn't bandaged, I guess the injury wasn't too bad. But you do seem pretty spaced out. Are you really alright? Oh, right. I asked the nurse, but apparently the MRI machine is broken, so they can't take a scan today? She also asked that I let you get more rest. She said if I kept coming by, it'd be too much excitement for you, and you'd have to stay longer. No, no, no! Please excite her! That's the number one thing her brain needs right now! Anyway, seeing as how that's the case, I'll just go home for today. He, I know this is supposed to be like some of them when they do that, since they're like sexy sideways look, but he looks a little devious. I don't know, I just, I'm just afraid. If, I'm just afraid of what's going to happen from people like talking about, in general, his route being disturbing so I'm just I'm disturbed because we're stuck in the hospital and this could be a bad path like right away but who knows uh, I'm glad I got to see your face I feel a little better now I'll come back tomorrow see you ah, our only source of memories just left four memories ah, this is a real problem at this rate not only will you not be able to remember anything you'll actually get worse Let's leave the hospital as soon as they do the MRI tomorrow, Spacey. Three days in. This is how we spend three days. <sighs> this is bad. You aren't getting enough stimulation. And also, hey, Spacey. Answer me! Hey! I thought this might happen, but I didn't expect it to get this bad. This isn't good. I thought you'd be able to get out of the hospital today. I'm sorry. They said the MRI would be fixed by tomorrow. We'll just have to wait and see for another day. I can't believe them. I sure hope they don't tell us to wait until tomorrow again. And to top it off, our last ray of hope, Toma... They said they won't be able to do any scans today either. They just asked that you try to get some rest. Just passed on that message and then left two minutes later. He should have stayed. He could have reminisced about old memories. Ah, sheesh. This environment is no good. The hospital is too dangerous. I just think it's kind of funny that it's like, the hospital is dangerous. Let's go home tomorrow after the MRI scan is done, Spacey. Oh my god, we're on a bad path, aren't we? Like, uh, I feel like we're on a bad path. I'm okay, was not the right answer. Like, I'm not going to the hospital, bitch. Hit it with your purse. Oh, we didn't have a purse. Couldn't. That would be great if the first time through we got a bad path. <laughs> it just ended the first episode. Well, there you go. We're done. Good morning. Today's the third day you've been in the hospital. And finally, on the third day... Your condition is worsened enough that you can s Oh, your condition is worsened enough that you can see me. Hey, it's been a while. It's nice that we can talk face to face again. It's a little weird that he's like, It's worsened enough you can see me! Not sure that's a good thing, Orion, but I love you. Yup, yup! I bet if you weren't able to see me- Oh, to see my royal cuteness every day, things would be pretty dreary around here, right? I love you, Orion. Ah, sorry. We were starting to separate, but then we ended up merging back together again. In other words, the memories that were returning to you have been locked away again. If you don't get out of the hospital today, it'll be really bad. There haven't been any issues over the past three days, so I'm positive your injuries aren't having some terrible effect on you. That's why you should really insist on being released. It doesn't matter if they try to stop you. Punch the nurse. No issues with the MRI scan. Okay, everything looks good. You can leave the hospital this afternoon. Someone's coming to pick you up. Well then, they gave you the okay to leave pretty easily. We braced ourselves for nothing. And who's coming to pick you up? Your family? 
But nobody besides Toma showed while you were in the hospital. Or while you were hospitalized. Someone's here to pick you up. Make sure you stop by the nurse's station before you leave. Good morning. Are you up? Wow, so Toma really did come to pick you up. He's good at taking care of you. I'm grateful. But seeing as how your family didn't visit at a time like this, I'd hazard a guess that they live pretty far away. I asked about your test results. I had to lie and say it was family, though. Now, they said the tests were negative of any issues and that the injury on your head is light and should heal in, in two or three days. They also said your memory seemed to be a little hazy, so I should watch over you for a while. Apparently, this happens pretty often to people involved in traffic accidents. They don't remember anything about the incident. So they recommended that I watch you for about a week, and if you showed no signs of improvement, they'd need to re-examine you. Anyway, let's go home. I'll give you some time to get dressed. Just come out to the hallway when you're ready. It's finally time for us to leave the hospital! This is great! It's good that you have Toma around. We don't know the way back to your house or even your address. And it sounds like he and the doctor came up with their own reasons that your memories are a bit wonky right now. But we can't slack off. If we don't recover your memories quickly, you might be returned here. We need to avoid coming back here at all costs. All right, Toma's waiting for you. Birds, shh. Hurry up and get ready. Then we can meet, uh, meet up with him outside. One hour later. Is this your place? You're finally back home. This is good, really good. Let's check around once we're inside. We can check up on your family situation and friends. There might even be something that'll trigger your old memories. Now then, which one's your room? Oh, sorry. Could you wait here a minute? Huh? Wait, but what? Oh, he's gone. I thought you might have mail, but, uh, but there wasn't anything in there. You could check later, too, if you want. Ah, he checked your mailbox for you. That's very considerate. Wait, the mailboxes are right over there. Why couldn't the two of you just check together? Hmm, I don't really get it, but maybe Tom is just a chivalrous kind of guy. Or he's being shady, who knows. We really don't know anything else about Toma besides the fact that he's one of your friends. And not our boyfriend. I'm sure you're tired. I'll leave your stuff over here. Huh, so this is your room. It seems pretty basic. Doesn't look like there would be much information here. Oh, right, right. Oh, wait. Oh, right, right. Here. A uh, cell phone. Your other one fell and broke, so I went ahead and got you a new one. If you don't like it, you can get a different one on your own. This one is just temporary. What? No way! Is it really alright for him to do something like this for you, too? He's really helpful. Well, thank him. No need to thank me. It wasn't a big deal. Still, this is the first time I heard you talk today. You're being pretty quiet. I guess you just aren't feeling like yourself. Uh, that's exactly right, but you can't really tell him the truth. Also, why so formal? It's creepy. Just talk normally. Oh, crap. Right, he's a friend. There's no need to be so formal with him. Also, are you having a hard time remembering things, too? Seeing as how formal you are with me, don't tell me you don't know who I am. How are they so intuitive? Like, Kent's like, why are you being nice to me? And then it, it takes him a while to be like, you don't have your memories. And like... Instantly, Shin and Toma are like, you like, look at them, and they're like, you don't remember me, do you? Yes? No? I maybe don't want to? Anyway. Do you know whose house this is, and how long you've been living here? I'm sure you'd remember basic things like that, but I'm getting worried now after seeing you so spaced out. My name is Spacey. Hello? So how much do you remember? Uh, it's kind of hard to answer. We'll just be honest. What? Wait, is it really okay to answer so straightforwardly? You don't remember. Really? You're not joking. You don't remember anything. You've got to be kidding. Your injury was that serious? Well, I guess it's no use talking about it. The doctor mentioned it might happen, and I'm sure you'll get better in two or three days. And if you don't, it's back to the hospital. I wonder which section you'll end up in next. Maybe even neurosurgery. Anywhere in the hospital would be bad. This is really problematic. 
All right, I still haven't told your mom or dad about any of this. I was wondering about whether I should tell them or not, but this is pretty important. I figured you should tell them yourself. But worrying them when they're overseas isn't good. Overseas? That must mean your parents are working overseas and you stayed behind alone. That would explain why they couldn't visit you when you were hospitalized. But anyway, I should probably contact Shin about this. Wait just a minute, I'll call him. Shin? Who's Shin? It's like, I'll call Shin, and you're like, I don't... Hey, Shin, it's me. You still awake? Spacey collapsed in her head, so she needed to be hospitalized for a while. Her memories are kind of hazy now, and she hasn't been acting normal since we left the hospital. So try not to call her for a while until she gets better. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they did tests. No, they were all negative. What? Oh, I see. Isn't that a little cold even for you? There's no need to worry. Uh, I'm looking after her. What do you mean? I thought you'd want to know, and that's why I called you. I said, hey, wait. He hung up, that idiot. All right. A message from Shin. He says, that klutz idiot. Do you know who Shin is? I guess you wouldn't. Shin is a childhood friend, just like me. You've known him since kindergarten. He's a year below you. And I'm a year above you. Do you remember that, at least? Yes, I do now, because you just told me. Sure! Anyway, you, Shin, and I always played together. Until high school, at least. After that, we started growing further apart. We moved. We moved. We went into college. We started living alone. Still, we all kept in contact. Our parents are all friends, so the three of us have been like siblings to each other. Okay, so, so it changes, because, like, in... Um... Was it Kent or Iki's path, where Tomo is basically a stepbrother? And then, like, in... Shin and Toma's paths were basically just friends. Our parents are all friends as opposed to like our parents have married each other. So it's interesting. But no, it's nothing. On the day you collapsed, I was on my way to your apartment complex to wait for you. We were planning to meet after a long time apart. When I saw you on the ground like that when I arrived, I was so shocked. So that's what happened. Yeah, I'd be shocked too. But it's fine now since you're okay. Mind if I have some coffee? I'll get some from the kitchen. You want some too, right? Huh. It looks like Toma knows his way around your house. He must have come here a lot before you lost your memories. Here you go. I put plenty of sugar in there. Who's that? Wait a second. I'll go check. Oh, it's you. So you decided to show up after all. Come on in. I'll unlock the door. After all? Could that mean this is that Shin guy he was talking to on the phone earlier? Shin's here, Spacey. What's this? You're perfectly fine. Why do you even need to come here? What a waste. That's the first thing you have to say? Huh, so this is Shin. Toma said he's a year below you, right? She was hospitalized. You should show a little more concern. Well, it's not like I mind checking up on her, just saying. So what happened? Were you just being an idiot and fell over? Or do you have low blood pressure or something? That's why I told you, living alone isn't for you. Are you hurt? Did you injure anything besides your head? And what did he mean your memories are hazy? Okay, that's enough. She doesn't need you interrogating her. She's barely even injured. They took an MRI and there should be no problems. She saw a ton of doctors at the hospital, so the chance that they missed anything is nearly zero. And there's no point in telling her now that she shouldn't live alone. She's already here. Just have a seat for now. Is coffee all right with you? I don't like bitter things. It's too much like me. You could at least make it a black tea. Lots of sugar and milk. How old are you? More importantly, Toma. She was in the hospital all that time, and you waited until just now to contact me about it? It's like you hid this from me. It's ticking me off. I did hide this from you. I didn't want it to interfere with your exams. You've interfered plenty already. I've got another one tomorrow. What? Then why did you come here? Go home! It's a little late for that now. Whatever, I'll go home soon. But next time something like this happens, call me. Text me or something. And I don't need you telling me to study. You're the one who told me this last minute. Okay, okay, I got it. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, she doesn't strike me as the type to die easily, even if she was killed. That's... Uh, 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 creepy. You know, she isn't talking much at all. Uh-oh. 
I can't get a word in edgewise with you two bitches. Two old ladies are just yakking at each other. Yeah, she may still be recovering from the accident. The doctor said she should be back to normal in two or three days. Two or three days? And if not, you'll take her back to the hospital, right? Huh? Wait, no! Two or three days was just for the injury! Her memories need just a bit longer, please! Ugh, it's not like they... It's not like they can hear me. It's no use getting so worked up like this. Ah! She's just a bit spaced out, but it's not like she's behaving strangely otherwise, so don't worry. This is already strange enough. Is it really okay to leave her alone like this when she's so out of it? Should I stay over? What? What are you talking about? It's fine. I'd just be taking care of her. You realize we're not kids in kindergarten anymore, right? And I doubt she'd be able to get any rest if two men were staying in this room with her. Oh, so it's two men now. What's your plan? To make me go home and stay here yourself? I love the fact that they fight over us like little bitches. It's great. A little disturbing, but it's great. I never said that. If you go home, I'll go home. Besides, you need to study. I can study here. You didn't bring anything with you. If your grades get shot because of this, I won't call you the next time anything happens. Oh, I see. Bet that was your plan all along. I don't mind if you think that. You know it's just common sense, Shin. So? What do you think, Spacey? Are you going to be okay on your own? Um... I don't like making this decision. Like, I'll be fine on my own. Like, I want you to stay, Shin. I want Toma to stay. I don't, like, I don't want to get in the middle of it. But since Toma, it is Toma's path, I feel like we have to, oops. We have to say I want Toma to stay. I'd love to do that, but hey, you just said men can't stay here. Don't think you can make an exception to that now. Well, I'm sure someone would get mad. I'm not a dangerous person, but it would be unfair to try and exclude myself from that. You're a dangerous person, no matter how I look at it. I've been looking after you guys since we were kids. I can't get into, into it like that with Spacey after all this time. Huh? What was that just now? There was this painful feeling in your chest for a moment. Spacey? Obviously we have a thing for him. Text me if anything happens and I'll come running, okay? Anyway, we'll both get going now. I'm sure you're still worried, but I'll come by again tomorrow. Oh, well, I guess that means I'm leaving. Oh, also, I called your work and said you'd be taking today and tomorrow off. If you're okay to go the day after, I'll go with you. Work? You have a job, too? Ah, uh, this is bad. We don't have enough information at all. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Don't worry about anything. I'll take care of you. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure you're just happy that you get to act like an older brother again. Since he's offering, make sure to just really boss Toma around. I'm way too busy. See you later. Ah, uh, this is bad! We managed to get home safely, but we only have three days to convince them. We need to gather information and reclaim your memories before then. Somehow I feel fulfilling these those conditions is going to be really tough. If we can't manage, you'll just have to pretend that they came back. Anyway, you should rest for today, and we'll get to work tomorrow. Perfect timing! All right. So, perfect timing on the, a day. So, I am going to wrap this part up here. And when we come back, we'll continue, obviously, like we do every time. So, yeah. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.